The last time you were here, we talked about your art forms or expressions in terms of pictures, plants, yes. if I remember. Now, this time you're talking historical stuff. You're to, doing stuff that, you know, people can relate community. to. Exactly, yes. on a community level. Yes. So your different expressions are wide. Let me say, if, if art was a language, and it is, you would be a polyglot. <laughs> Am I correct? But tell us about this expression that we're talking about today. Um, you know, art, as we all know, is life. Mm -hmm. We need to reflect our society. Mm -hmm. At the same time, we need to speak for the people in our society using the arts. If you notice, there's no art around me here today. Well, that's deliberate. That's because Bology's art are all hanging at this point. Yes. And this is because of the project Greener Pastures. Greener Pastures. Tell us about what Greener Pastures is about. Greener Pastures. I mean, Greener Pastures as mm. it is green. And um, when we think of Greener Pastures, we all, especially as Nigerians, we all think about going abroad yeah. where it's actually not green. No. It's actually white in Canada, yeah. guys. Yeah. Uh -huh. So we all, <laughs> those are the places we think about. But, you know, if we really look inward, the green pastures is actually home. It's mm. here. Okay. And we are showing Ekwe, especially. We're using Ekwe. This mm. is a project that we've had for, I've been on for the last three years, yeah. showing the very essence of this place, the greenery. All right, the if, you're, if you're watching TV now, you can see some of those pictures. We're showing you some of the expressions. I think these are those pictures you're talking about from Ekwe, yes? Yes. yes. Yeah, so, you know, more. the greenery of this place, but at the same time, the reality of the people living in it. So we are showing Ekwe from angles I am sure many people have never seen before. Yeah. And I can tell you, it's really beautiful. Oh, I normally would ask the question, have you seen Nigeria? Because not many people have. And it's a thing and a hashtag that I use when I go biking across Nigeria. Each time I take a very unique picture, I put it there. Have you seen Nigeria? Not many people have. No. But they've seen Dubai. They've seen South Africa. Yes. They've seen Zimbabwe and the Seychelles. Even people here in Lagos haven't even really, they really have no idea what have it looks like. Have you seen Lagos? Here. Have you seen Ekwe? Actually. So we are bringing it to you through this uh, photo exhibition, mm -hmm. holding at Didi Museum. Now this, yes. for example, that's Ekwe. Ah, beautiful. From Look the inside, that. very inside of Ekwe. So which is what we are focusing on mainly, especially mm. in the next 10 days, starting mm. from today mm. at Didi Museum. Oh, Yes, Didi Museum. Didi Museum in Victoria Island. Okay. <laughs> Look at that picture. <laughs> Look at that. What is that? Saga yes. Village. So, yes, Saga. Saga. So, you can see that's the angle from this angle. Many oh, people have never seen Ekwe. Look at that. I did not imagine yes. that it would look So, like you know, we are bringing us to us. Oh, what part of Ekwe is this? Yes, yeah, Saga. I've never... Yeah, it's really deep inside. Wow. So there are villages, you know, over 140 of them all around the coastline. Some of them you can't wow. even get to uh, by land. While wow. some you can, but again, mostly you use the boat. And there's water hyacinth everywhere. There they are, the So hyacinth. these people actually are blocked in. Hmm. They drink water from the lagoon, wow. which is unfortunate. I mean, that was what really, really, really drove me into doing this. Uh, we need to do something uh, how, how, about how, that. How's their modern life? I mean, when I say modern life, I'm talking about education and, and commerce. How do they manage all of this? So as beautiful as this place is, the thing is life has kind of stopped. It's like mm. 100 years ago. Wow. They lack basic amenities that we, even in Lagos, which is still not enough. Wow. So they lack that. Kids can't go to school. So it's just a school, no books. Oh, wow. And okay, what hyacinth is disturbing the fishermen? They so, can't really work. Your efforts are not for nothing. It's also bringing light to these challenges that yes. these people are going through. But who has shown uh, attention? Who has shown, uh, what's the word now, concern for the work that you're putting there and wants to help these people? Are there any, any takers? Fortunately, I think, um, I think the right agencies are listening and um, they are ready to partner with us. Laswa, Lagos State uh, Waterways Authority, mm. they are in on this with us. Nice. They are interested in it. We're having a public debate next week and then um, they are participating. The Ministry of um, Water Resources mm -hmm. in Lagos State, they are, the Permanent Secretary is also interested. Mm. So the mm. bodies that are, con that are uh, involved wow. are now being concerned and they are being informed. And I think um, 
That's uh, begin something is beginning to happen. Oh, but really you, the I love a Lagos boy. Thank you very much, man. You. Each time you're here, it's always so rich. Love your art, love your expressions, yeah. and love the fact that you're one of the few guests who comes in and actually asks about the the the, the, the me personally. Hey, how are you doing? You look good today. Thank you very much. You guys are doing a great That's job. A lesson to everybody else. <laughs> We, we appreciate that you're here again and we look forward to the exhibition. Uh, I'll try and be there myself. Yeah, Thank you.